Can you launch an Airbnb business with zero dollars and without having to rent or own a single property? Let me show you how you can do that in five simple steps. Step number one is to understand the Airbnb regulations for your city. Now, if you actually spend the time to research the regulations, guess what? Airbnb works for any city on planet Earth because there's literally loopholes for every single city. Now come with me over here and let me show you how to research the regulations for your city. All you have to do is first go to Google, second, type in your city along with the terms Airbnb regulations. What you'll typically find is the first link that pops up is from Airbnb itself and they've already done all the research when it comes to regulations for your specific city. So let's go ahead and click on Los Angeles Airbnb regulations and what you would do here is literally just read through the page, understand the licensing requirements, understand all regulations, and you will typically find loopholes for that specific city on this page. Step number two is to search for properties. So in this step, you're gonna be using websites such as Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Zillow, Apartments.com, and Hotpads to find properties to prospect. Let me show you a specific example using Craigslist on how to find properties. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in your city along with the term Craigslist. So in this example, I've typed in Los Angeles Craigslist. Once you've done that, you want to actually click on the Craigslist link. When it populates, you want to click on the housing category. Once you've done that, the first thing you want to do is scroll down and check off the furnished filter because you only want to find furnished properties. What you don't want to do is start off by prospecting unfurnished properties. The next thing you want to do is put a price parameter. I like to go for a minimum price point of 2000, maximum price point of 6000. Reason being on the low end, it gets rid of junk and on the high end, it gets rid of properties that are listed for sale. Once you've done that, click on the apply button. Step number three is to click this arrow to see the oldest listings for rent, scroll through all the listings and find a listing that you like. Now I've selected this beautiful property that popped up. Now here's the key part. What you'll notice is that the property was listed on Craigslist 28 days ago. What does that mean? That means that for the past 28 days, this landlord has been losing money. That means there's a real pain point that needs to be solved because for the past 28 days, the landlord has been paying their mortgage, paying their property tax, paying a bunch of maintenance expenses with no money coming in. That's where you come in to fix the problem. So here's what you do. Step number four is to copy the address. You can get it here by clicking the Google map link. And once it loads, click copy address. Once you've copied the address, paste it into the Airbnb Analyzer app, select the bedroom count, three bathroom, input the guest count, and input the long-term monthly rent. Now you'll see that this is a furnished property, so I've selected furnished. You could also select unfurnished if it's unfurnished. The last step here is to click the big blue button that says generate report. The fifth and final step is to take the report output from the Airbnb Analyzer app, present it to the landlord, and close the deal. So here's how it works. You can see here, this is the report output from the Airbnb Analyzer app. Now I know there's a bunch of graphs and numbers and it looks scary, <laughs> but it's not because here's the only thing that matters. What the report shows is how much money that property can make as an Airbnb. And in this case, it's $178,000. That's way more money than what the landlord can get as a long-term rental. Now, if you go to the second page of the report, this is how you close the landlord. Mr. Landlord, your beautiful property has been sitting on Craigslist for the last 28 days. That means for the last 28 days, you've been losing money. Now let's pretend that you get a long-term tenant literally today. Well, best case scenario, you're only gonna make 72,000 a year as a long-term rental. Now, if you work with me and my company, you're gonna make $145,000 as a short-term rental net of my commission. Now I know what you're thinking. You wanna probably go home and think about it. Well, here's the thing, Mr. Landlord. Every day that you delay and you think about it, there's an opportunity cost. And the opportunity cost is $596 a day as the short-term rental rate. And because you've already delayed for the last 28 days, you've already lost $16,676. So let's do ourselves a favor here. Here's my contract, let's sign, let's move forward, and let's make you some money. How does that sound? 
Now, I know I said all that really fast, but I put together a free step-by-step in-depth training explaining how this works. All you have to do to get it is go to the description of this video and click on the link to get the free in-depth training. Now, if you got any value out of this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you would do two things. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.